So when I arrive to my hunting location, I'm at the truck and I'm, I'm gonna put the saddle in. As you can see, it's in compact mode. The top and the bottom panels are connected together so that I can be streamlined hiking through the woods. One of the things we, we weren't happy with with existing saddle models on the market was that we had a lot of issues with the leg straps while hiking into the woods. They tend to bind clothing, they tend to pull your saddle down so that it actually slides down over the course of time. They just, they just generally got in the way um, while you were you know, on the way to your hunting location. So one of the things that we wanted to make sure we included to help alleviate that pain point was to make sure that our leg straps were fully removable. Um, so that we actually take these off and, and we wear this without the leg straps while we're headed into the woods. We then we can add them very quickly and easily with these little tabs here. They just clip on with these, these G hooks at the base of the tree before we ascend to hunt. So you still have the safety of leg straps, but you don't have um, you know, some of the issues that they can cause on your way into your hunting location. I'm at the truck. I've got the saddle in compact mode. I'm going to show you how to put this on. It's real simple. This is the rope belt version, so I've got the rope belt opened up all the way as well as the bridge. So I'm going to grab these two ropes together and then just simply step through it. Slide this up to the top of my hips. One of the things that I didn't mention prior is that this rope belt and all of our belts on this method saddle actually slide through a channel on the top panel. And this allows you to center either your buckle or in this case, this climbing rated knot on the waist belt. And you can see I'm just going to cinch that down. I'm going to get it where I want and get that nice and tight and that's not going anywhere. So I can carry a lot of weight in my, on my hips if I'd like to. From there, to make sure I'm as streamlined as possible in the woods, I thread my waist belt through these loops and just hook it in these gear clips. Another thing we didn't mention, these clips that hold the bottom panel to the top panel actually double to carry sticks up the tree. And in this case, I actually like to use them to manage these ropes as I'm hiking. So I've got that nice and tight. Now I'm gonna take our adjustable bridge and I'm gonna cinch that down. And I like to go opposite directions. So now I've got this long piece of rope and I'm just gonna thread that through, clip that in this gear clip, go under my pouch, go around into the clip, and I'm just gonna kinda of tuck that away. So as you can see, I'm about as compact as an average day belt you'd wear with your jeans right now, plus a pouch too. All right, so now I've uh, hiked through the woods and I've gotten to the tree that I'm gonna climb to hunt for the day. So as you, I'm still in compact mode with the saddle at this point. I'm gonna reach to my pouch I'm on the side here. I'm gonna pull out my Lyman belt rope. And I'm gonna assume that I've already got, say my first climbing stick on the tree right now. So that's been done, take out my rope. And my Lyman belt loops are accessible and available right now in compact mode. So I'm gonna clip that in here on the one side. And I'm gonna go around the tree. I'm gonna clip in on the other side. One thing that's unique to our ropes and how they come set up is we actually have this sliding uh, rope hitch with a device that allows it to be one hand adjustable. So I can actually cinch down that rope with one hand and tighten myself up to the tree. From a safety standpoint, you never wanna to get too far from the tree with your Lyman belt loop when you're climbing the tree and you always wanna keep this rope at least parallel with your hips. I can simply loosen that with one hand as well. Uh, so we really like how these are set up. They're quiet, they're light, they're one hand adjustable, it makes it easy to climb the tree. At this point, I would ascend the tree using whatever mechanism I like to climb the tree with. And then uh, I would set my platform and I'd pull out my tether rope. All right, so in this scenario, we're gonna assume that I still have my lineman belt uh, attached at this point. I don't have two ropes at the moment. Uh, so this is gonna be our tether rope and I'm gonna put this around the tree. I'm gonna feed that through the loop that we have sewn on the end of these ropes. These ropes are made in Maine by Sterling Rope Company. It's a rope called Oplex Rope. It's got a 6,000 pound or nearly a 6,000 pound breaking strength. So they're extremely safe, American made. I'm gonna get that all set up. I'm gonna slide this up here. And from this point, now I'm gonna change the configuration of my saddle to get ready to hang in the tree. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my bridge out and I'm gonna open that up. And I like to open it up all the way initially to clip in, then you can adjust from there. 
I'm gonna clip into that tether carabiner, lock that, make sure that's locked. All right, so at this point, I'm clipped into the tree. I can remove my lineman belt and stow it away in my pouch. I'm gonna assume I've done that. And it's at this point then I can now deploy this lower panel on the saddle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from compact mode to kind of hanging in the tree mode. And to do that, it's real simple. I'm just gonna lift and drop off these clips on each side of the saddle. And then I can take this lower panel, I can put it right where I like and to my preference to fit my body type to hang in the tree. You see, I like it about right here when I'm in a leaning position. And now I'm ready to hunt.